IGN probably like 2 out of 10. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you're not gonna believe this. Here. Drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, check this out, okay? Guys, there is finally hope and shout out to the homie level cap because a lot of youtubers got to play this game early It's called the finals. It's in beta right now soon It's gonna be coming on PlayStation 5 Xbox Series X and I truly hope it does come out soon We all got to see some further insights into the company and the goals with the game now The beta for the finals is actually going live tomorrow So you'll actually be able to check it out for yourself soon enough now firstly I got to talk about the crazy destruction Man. in this game You can break pretty much everything and level entire buildings to the ground. The destruction is all server side, which means broken objects will all be in the exact same this is where the real dice talent went and the, the crazy part here is that man we actually had a tech demo you uh, drop a thumbs up one in the comments if you remember two if you do not remember Bruh. but one if you remember the time when we had that tech demo for battlefield y'all remember at ea play we had the tech demo that was showing us the destruction we had a bunch of soldiers that were running around buildings were crashing down we had that tech demo and we all thought that that's gonna be coming in battlefield 2042 but where it did uh, where it happened the finals ladies and gentlemen this is where it it come and we have this this m60 i'm getting bad company 2 vibes a little bit of battlefield 2042 vibes as well we got the mac 11 uh, i'm getting call of duty vibes as well the game is colorful fortnite vibes as well there's like a spectator spectators are watching you as well this is just insane i'm getting all these different game vibes in a good way call of duty battlefield devs should be ashamed most importantly call of duty devs because uh, i'm hearing battlefield is getting better now and they're listening at least whereas call of duty devs the three years three thousand devs you see the skin dead ass they three thousand devs they made this skin you look at that uh i don't even want to point my fingers at that but he got the entire package uh, hanging out right there with that nine inch that's where the real Call of Duty geniuses, uh, 3000 devs genius went to and they are trying to fix the Trello board and the Trello board is all about giving us updates and all about giving us fixes for for the game and even that needs a fix Bruh. bro Bumba i God. don't i cannot compute this guy and doesn't make it too cartoony like say team fortress 2. it's light-hearted with a bit of a serious undertone and the art director should all be given raises for Facts. knocking it out of the park the maps are set in real world locations like monaco and seoul south korea and many of the weapons are immediately recognizable with your standard ak Mac 11s and M60 machine guns. But there's also some fun stuff like goo guns that create foam barricades or bridges, deployable jump pads, flamethrowers, and more to take strategy to new levels. Now there's three classes, each with different guns and specialty options. Anybody getting bad company two vibes from this? Options, pistols, and sniper weapons. They also have grappling hooks and cloaking devices to change up their gameplay. They're faster, lower health, and give you some fun mobility options compared to other classes. The medium class has some cool team play options like jump pads, fast revive defibrillators, a heal gun that can make a huge difference in combat, and it also gets standard AKs and powerful revolvers. Now the heavy class is one that I think I played the most. It's a bit slower, has a lot more health. I can see this game bang, bro. I can see this game do phenomenally well because it's gonna be, for no, number one, it's gonna be free to play, but free to play doesn't mean that the game is gonna do insane, right? It, 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 the quality matters. The quality really does matter. And this time the game is looking insane. It can do crazy numbers if they the, the if the devs listen to the feedback if they drop constant uh content if they do not take like five months before dropping a new map like call of duty we haven't even got a single new map and we all paid 70 dollars maybe you didn't pay let me know if you paid for that game or not 70 dollars and we cannot even get one new map one three thousand devs three years cannot get it at all battlefield it also took like months before we got something right now people are saying battlefield is uh, kind of yeah it's uh, getting better but still man it is just insane how badly triple a uh, FPS games have fallen. It is absolutely insane because I remember the era of PlayStation 3. I come from that PlayStation 3 era, uh, the, the Xbox 360 era, and that era was so good with the story games, Uncharted, God of War, uh, stuff. God of War is still good now, I'm not saying that it's bad, but we had Bad Company 2, 2010s, Black Ops 1, then we have what, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 2, GTA 4 came out somewhere around that time, I believe, uh, or maybe a little bit before. We had some 
quality ass games and i don't know what happened everything is just so uninspiring single player games is where it's at right now but multiplayer games wise it is ridiculously uninspiring and looking at this game it's a fresh it's a breath of fresh air thoughts uh wl you guys see this game getting uh, crazy numbers in terms of player count or not games from each round progress to the next round and then fight the other winning teams this continues for three matches until you enter wait for it the finals now, I absolutely love this game format. It's a self-regulated tournament system that allows you to start with a lot of players, but also play smaller, tighter game modes. I think it maths out to 48 total players at the start, and it whittles it down to a single winning team of three players. Now, rather than getting more into the weeds with all the gameplay details, because if you're interested, you actually get to play this tomorrow, I thought I would show you a full tournament from start to finish. I got to play with Matimio and a tiny cat. Not an actual cat, but that was the Bruh. developer's name. He works on the explosion effects <laughs> in the game and was really fond of showing us that some of the foam stuff explodes in a phallic pattern. This was a reoccurring conversation topic for him. Now for this tournament, I am the designated heavy class, so that's what you're going to see from my perspective. And I've put in some time segments into the video, so you can skip ahead rounds if you want to. I think this will give you a really good idea of what to expect from the game. And in my honest opinion, I had a total blast and I can't wait to play the beta. Now enjoy the tournament. Here, and guys, okay, here's, well, the thing, group. here's the thing, right? Everybody's saying, in my honest opinion, in my honest opinion, I say that too. We all say it. Whenever we see a new game, we're like, oh, we're all like, damn, man, that is looking busted, okay? It's looking fire. And this is the knockout run one. That's the mini, or not the mini map. I mean, bruh, that's the, uh, the menu. Uh, the UI is looking clean as well. It is looking good. It, it's looking like that. It's easy to understand. But we all say, whenever we see a new game that is looking good graphically, we all say it is good, right? I mean, stuff like that is just bruh. bruh, but I guess at this point, we're gonna we're gonna be getting games like that because I, I it's a free-to-play game, so I don't complain. I don't want to complain about it. But people will be like, it's not realistic. It's not meant to be realistic. Uh, skins are fine, but it's like skins like that, damn son. But graphically, man, this game is looking good. It's looking insane. But everybody says the game is looking insane. In my honest opinion, then a month later, a week later, we all change opinions, and that's what it means to uh, evolve as a person right you change you learn and grow learning and growing learning and growing and it's a good thing right because if you have the same opinion every day then do you really have an opinion you know what i'm saying right. Right? so it's good but damn son the fact that he dropped that mind gives me give me solid bad company two wives the fact that there is destruction in this game oh man he bought a, he bought a drop rpg I feel like that it's gonna bang. I just hope the devs listen and I hope we get content and this game gonna do phenomenal numbers, guys. But guys, click on this video on the screen because recently Dr. Disrespect went crazy at Activision. This is a massive video. Check this video out or click the video on the left because we have a GTA 6 teaser and there's a lot of stuff going around. Check these videos out, guys, and I will see you right there.